What's going on, everybody? Gentleman94 here. Welcome back to Ben Builds. We are here with episode number four for the Armstrong Whitworth Whitley. We are pushing forward today, guys, and I'm going to do a lot of work on the cockpit. That's the first step I want to go ahead and do is make some seat belts. Now, last episode, we went ahead and installed all the bits and pieces in here. Everything is looking great. I'm still unsure if I want that chair located in that position. I might want to change it, but that's okay. We're going to start off first with seatbelts. And in order to do that, we need our Tamiya tape. So let's go ahead and get that started. Now, per my usual technique of making seatbelts, I'm going to be using this Tamiya tape. This is actually smaller, six millimeter thick Tamiya tape. I just like this one a little bit better for seatbelts. That way I don't waste too much. Now I'm going to go ahead and use my straight edge and we're going to slice very thin strips of the Tamiya tape. Now I went ahead and brought up a picture online of the Edward upgrade kit for this particular model. And I have to tell you that the seat belts don't look that complicated. So I'm going to slice about maybe one millimeter thick strips and we're going to check it to see how it looks against the actual cockpit. So let's go ahead and see. Yeah, I could see that. I could see that working. We can just fold it up over under the lap of the actual seat and then we'll have a nice Y shaped seat belt come down from that one. So I want to say this is probably about a millimeter. Let me just double check here. Yeah, it's about a millimeter. So we're going to go ahead and start making some seat belts. We're going to make a bunch of thin, about one millimeter thick strips and start putting these things together. I think the seat belts are really going to give us a nice bit of detail and add some character to the cockpit. All right, guys, go ahead and dive on in, see what we can do. All right, guys, as you can see, the seat belts are on. Not too difficult. To me, uh, seat belts are super easy to make. And as long as you have a picture of the real thing, you can get them looking pretty close to uh, what they actually look like. So let's go ahead and check the other side of the fuselage, put that together, kind of get the idea of how it looks as one piece. Very cool. Now, when I put that actual canopy over that, you're probably not going to be able to see as much detail. But again, you're going to jump out, give it a little extra bit of fun, I think. Now, next, I want to go ahead and create a little bit of a wash for these. And so I have some burnt umber mixed together with some basic paint thinner. Now, we're going to take this and we're going to just barely drip this all over each of the seatbelts. And the idea here that I'm having is just to give it a little bit of added wear and tear and to give it a little bit of color. I don't know how accurate the Tamiya tape color is compared to an actual seatbelt, but I kind of like going over them with some form of wash. In this case, it's just that burnt umber. Nothing too fancy. I'm just going to drip that all over there. And as hopefully you can see, it uh, gives a little bit of character. Nothing too crazy. 
And then we'll do the same thing on the main pilot seat belt and also on the radio operator's seat belts as well, because I do have some of those in that rear compartment. So let's see what we can do with that. And with that all finished up, let's go ahead and check how it looks with the sidewalls on. Wow, I love it. it. Looks great. It's so much fun, guys, to try new things and just to kind of play around with techniques. This, I'm really digging this kit. So this is looking great. Let's go ahead and move on to the next step. Now, one thing I did notice is that Airfix gives you this really cool decal to go ahead and put onto the navigator's table. And it's a map, what looks to be the Channel Coast and then the coast of France. I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit of water here. We're gonna dip this decal into that water and then let it slowly kind of come up off that backing. Then we're gonna go ahead and stick it down to the actual table in the back. So let's go ahead and mix it around a little bit in that water, kind of get this activated, and we'll just put it aside for right now. Now while that decal is aside there, kind of separating up off the backing, I've taken a little bit of silver paint and I'm making seatbelt buckles. Just a little dab here, a little dab there of some silver. In my opinion, it kind of gives you the idea that there's something there, like a harness or a belt buckle or something like that. It gives a little bit of added interest, and I just think it kind of adds a little bit of extra level of kind of fun to the seatbelts. Is it accurate? Well, I don't know for sure, but it at least gives you the impression that these are seatbelts and they're actual buckles on the seat belt. So I'm just gonna dot this here and there on the different areas for the lap belts and the shoulder belts, and then we'll move on, get that decal on. Okay, the decal is all set. We have it up off the backing. So let's go ahead and just pull that off of my finger. And let's go ahead and place it right about there. I think I have a different idea though. I don't wanna just stick it right directly on. I wanna put it a little bit askew. And I actually wanna go ahead and have that decal, that map going ahead and kind of hanging off the table to give it a little bit of added interest and some fun. So I went ahead and I positioned that decal a little bit askew but it won't actually stick down to hang down the side. So I've taken some super glue and I have my applicator here and we are going to just put a tiny bit of super glue right into that area so it stays down. And here we go, guys. This is what I've come up with so far for the actual cockpit. I love it. I think it looks really cool. It has just enough added detail to kind of catch the eye and to be different and fun. Now, I'm not used to building 172nd, but this is actually really a lot of fun. You can see those little bits of touches here and there with that silver paint. We've got the lap belts, we've got the shoulder harnesses, and we've got that map kind of strategically hanging off the side. I might do a bit more though, maybe make up some other maps, but we'll get to that a little bit later. Let's go ahead and move on to the clear parts, guys. Now, clear parts look pretty decent in this kit. I don't really think you need to do a whole lot of work on them. They look very clean, very crisp but I do want to dip them in the future. I think it's a good idea to go ahead and get those things nice and sealed up with a coat of future. So we're gonna cut off the main glazing over the cockpit and we're gonna cut off the center nose cone as well. The turrets we're gonna leave for right now because I know a lot of those are painted and there's not a lot that show through. Now we might actually do this technique on the front nose turret but for right now, I'm just going to focus on the nose cone and then the actual canopy cockpit glazing. Let's go ahead and clean them up, get that future out. So I've got my little bit of future right here in my cup. Let's go ahead and also grab tweezers and a paper towel, something that we can use for the parts to dry on. So that should be good. Let's go ahead and grab the tweezers and grab the part. Now I'm just going to go ahead and just dip it right in to the future, making sure that there aren't any huge streaks or bubbles or anything like that. Give it a nice shake and then just lay it down so each corner touches the actual paper towel and it'll just bleed off that excess. Now we'll do the same thing with the nose cone. Dip it in there. I don't want to trap any future or any bubbles. I think that's pretty decent. And again, just drop that right onto the paper towel and let that dry. All right, guys, moving on. The cockpit is looking pretty decent. So I'm going to go ahead and glue the other side of the fuselage together. Then while that's drying, I want to go tackle the wings and I want to get those all sanded up and ready to go. So let's roll that time lapse, really get this thing moving a bit further.
All right, guys, not too bad. Everything is looking great on those wings. Let's move on to the fuselage, and we have to mask off these windows. Now, each of these windows are very tiny, and there's a lot of them. A person could actually use maybe some liquid mask, but I don't have any. So we're going to resort to the old tried and true Tamiya tape. Now, I've taken some strips, just like I did for my seatbelts, but a little bit thicker. And I've actually laid it down over the first windows right here on the side of the fuselage. We're going to go ahead and burnish these guys down so that they really give that indentation. We're going to take a super sharp X-Acto knife and just cut out the outside and pull up the tape. So let's do it. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and call it quits for today, everybody. I'm really enjoying this kit. It's been so much fun so far. And this window masking, it's a little tedious, but it's moving along just fine. So next episode, guys, we're going to come on back and see what we can do about getting this thing together, doing some sanding work here on the fuselage, and just have fun with the kit. Because so far, guys, I'm really enjoying this model. So until next time, everybody, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you back here next week on Ben Builds episode number five on the Bomber Command Buddy Build. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you soon.